Hey guys, welcome back to Wood Street Farm. I'm Phil, and today we're going to test out a new tool sent to us by Vivor. No, Vivor. And this I'm actually pretty excited about. If you've got a rural property like we do, and you need to tackle a tough cleaning job, but don't have a water source nearby, this I think is gonna help us today. This is a battery powered power washer. It actually uses a little tool battery. I've already opened this up and made sure this was fully charged and ready for us today. So let's unbox the rest of this, and then we're gonna try it out for the first time. Take this box out the way. So what we got in the box, this is actually a carry bag for all the accessories. We'll go over the accessories here in a second. There's our main part of our power washer. The battery's gonna go right in that part. There's instructions. Of course, we're not gonna use those. This is a suction hose for the water uh, input, which this is how we're gonna use the hose today. There's also an adapter. If you're just hooking this up to a regular garden hose or something, you can use this. It's got a threaded piece on it and you can hook it up to your garden hose. This is a soap nozzle and dispenser if you're gonna soap anything up. And then it comes with an extension wand that will go in this. We will use that today. And then there are two different nozzles. A, I think this is a, a fan nozzle or maybe it's an adjustable nozzle. We'll try it out. And then there's a different nozzle here with several, several, several different spray patterns on it. We'll probably go ahead and try that out. Either one of those will just plug into the end of this wand. Now I thought I might just go and fill up a five gallon bucket of water. I wasn't exactly sure what the water consumption is going to be like. So I've got my gas powered pump here right down by the pond. I'm just going to put a bunch of water in this big 100 gallon stock tank and then we will use that pond water to hose off this, which is actually one of our big photo props for the farm here when we're open at Christmas time. It is a cutout of the Griswold car from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation movie. And it, we actually put like a, a roof rack on top of that and put a real tree on top. That's a bunch of fun. But it's been laying down in the grass for a number of months and it's just got a bunch of dirt and plant matter all over the front of it. So I thought this would be an easy test to test it out on. It needs to be cleaned anyway. And then, um, you know, let's just fire it up. If it works out really good, we fly through this. Probably going to hose off the tractor because that thing has, I don't think it's ever been cleaned. So we'll see how it works on that. So the suction hose comes with this screen on the end. It's a really fine mesh. And that's uh, another, another thing I wanted to test here because we're using pond water. It's got sediment and algae and other stuff in it. So this should keep everything out. We'll, we'll see how quickly this gets clogged up or if it gets clogged up at all. But I think I'm just gonna drop this in the tub of water with that now in the water. Let's see how long it takes to start drawing some water out. And we're starting out with this little adjustable nozzle. I don't know what the flow of that nozzle is going to look like, but we'll find out in a minute. So far, so good. I, you know, it's getting most of the soil off here. We are going to switch nozzles just to see how those work. So to move that out, you, it gives you a little indication right here where you're looking at. You just have to kind of push it down and then twist it and it comes right out. Hey, try a different nozzle. Try again, switch, uh, just go through all of them, see what they look like. All right, so that one was like a round rinsing nozzle. Okay. Wow, that's like a turbo. Great line. 
Yep. So after that little bit of use, this is still showing four, four lights on our little battery indicator. So we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of spraying on the tractor. I'm going to rinse it first and then we'll use the soap cannon that came with it and see how that works. All right. Now to try the foam cannon, we just push this in, turn it. We can release that. And it didn't say, the instructions didn't say anything about exactly what to put in here. So I did about half regular dish soap and half water. This has actually got an adjustment on it. And it just says min and max with two arrows. So we'll play with that and see how it does. Right now we're on max. Just like that, we use about half of the soap that we put in there. So it comes out pretty quick. That was on max the whole time. Could have dialed it back. The battery just died on us. I actually had the camera off and I was just gonna finish up this side and then talk to you guys a little bit more. I did not get around the back, but I tried to get as detailed as I could around, you know, the two sides in the front. And we got the engine compartment open, sprayed it out, sprayed the radiator out real good. So spent a lot of time in some of those nooks and crannies. And I was pretty impressed with how long that single battery lasted. That is the only battery that came with it. It says uh, in the manual that it takes about five hours to charge. So that's all we're gonna do with this thing today. But between the 15 foot plywood cutout and the Kubota tractor, we went through that battery. Now my son just started to put everything away and he was looking at the screen. Hey, hold that up again. And from what we can tell on the screen, it's not really a lot of debris on there, though the water clarity in the tub is pretty good. So this seems to have worked just fine. And you can see, obviously, it, the machine worked fine. Now, this is not nearly as powerful as like a regular gas-powered power washer. Uh, on a couple of those nozzles, I actually put my hand in front of it, which you shouldn't do with a power washer. But uh, I didn't do it with that really fine jet nozzle. But, um, you know, it is not the same intensity as a regular power washer. So the tougher the job, the longer it's going to take with this small thing. But I can easily say the tractor and the cutout is cleaner now than when we started so success in that regard and like I said at the beginning if you have a job that is um, you know a remote job where you can only bring in a little bit of water and you don't have a power source and all that kind of thing um, this little guy does a pretty good job now I've got uh, several other pieces of equipment around the property all I have to do is fill up this tub put it on the pallet forks on the tractor, haul it off to wherever I need to go, and I have plenty of water to do whatever I need to do. For that one battery that we put through this thing today, uh, I can't tell how many gallons we used. I didn't fill this thing all the way up, but if I had to guess, we only lowered the water level about that much. So there was probably only maybe 15, 20 gallons that went through it at the most, if I had to guess. And that was on that single battery charge. So if you were taking this out somewhere and you only had a five gallon bucket, I think you could do a pretty good amount of cleaning with that. Uh, I'll probably try that sometime just to see how it works. And maybe we'll do a flow test. I was just thinking that we should probably do a flow test and see how much water is really going through this thing in a period of time so maybe we'll try that on a follow-up video if there's anything else you want to make sure you uh, see me try out with this power washer let me know i'll include that in the follow-up video as well but until next time hope you guys have a good one i'll see you on the next video Bye bye